Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to our channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see future videos. In today's video, I am working on the so popular burst tumbler. So I'm starting out with this sublimation tumbler because I don't feel like painting and it was raining and I needed a very nice white base to start with. So I'm taking off the sticker on the bottom that comes with the sublimation tumblers. And so yeah, the sublimation tumbler was the best in my opinion. And I have a ton of glitters. All of these glitters, except for one that I use, is from the Glitter Heart Co. Glitter Company. And I absolutely love their glitters. Uh, I'll put all the names in the description box below. The black one is not Glitter Heart Company, although I think it was a mix that I made up. That's from a black from Michaels and a silver from the Glitter Heart Co. Anyway, this is my template that I'm using. I printed it out after I picked all the colors that I wanted in the air, the, the design. So what a glitter, no, well yeah, glitter. What a burst tumbler is, oddly enough, it's double-sided adhesive sheets and I'm using the scratch paper from that you put on your furniture so your cats don't scratch it. But anyway, I'll explain more later. So I am prepping my tumbler, just giving it a light sand and wiping it down with rubbing alcohol. So I cut out on my silhouette the design that I wanted out on the cat scratch paper to the size that I needed and I'm just now right now making sure that I cut it out correctly and sizing it onto my tumbler and you want to make sure this is lined up as close as possible so once that I make sure that it lined up correctly and everything I carefully pull off and here you can see just slightly the design um, I wanted to pick for my very first one a somewhat easy one I thought this was somewhat easy so I'm just taking off about an inch and I'm cutting off the back of that blue paper. Of course, of course, I'm out of frame. So I cut off a little bit, about an inch, and then I place it back on the back. And then just checking again to make sure that it's all lined up. And once that I know that it is, I hold it tightly. And then just pull back that, that little sliver that I had cut off and adhere it and press it down to my tumbler. And then I can pull back a little bit at a time from the rest of the backing. And of course, I didn't cut it straight. So I have to do my best to pull off <laughs> the rest of it. And once I get that, I can slowly, and of course this is sped up so that the tutorial is not 14 years long, so you want to go slow so that your pieces don't come off and then just smooth it down as you're going. And I found it easy to roll my tumbler with the sheet down and then just smooth it down to make sure that all those pieces were down. So then once I did that, I start with your darkest color first and then pull off those that top layer. You don't want to pull the adhesive off. You just want to pull off that top white layer and then sprinkle your glitter and rub the glitter down this is messy this is extremely messy and then just wipe away any excess glitter and just continue and I kept my picture that I had showed you at the beginning off to the side for reference to make sure that I kept going back and forth to make sure that I was getting all the pieces necessary and you'll find out later that you know, you miss a few spots and you have to go back in, but you definitely want to keep and make sure that you get all the spots that is colored to the, I'm not speaking correctly. The colors that you want, that you get all those pieces so that you don't have to go back in. Because once you get a dark glitter into your light glitter, ugh, it's over and you have to fix it later. It's a whole mess. So once I made sure that I got everything that I wanted, I went into my next darkest color lighter darker color and just went down the line 
and did the same process. This is so time consuming, but it's such a gorgeous and um, impactful piece and so much better than having to do Mod Podge, but enjoy me making an entire mess.
It was about right here when I realized that I missed a few spots, so I had to go back in. And this is where the dark glitter gets into the light glitter, and then I have to go in and fix it later. So yeah, there's you can see there's a spot there I'm gonna have to fix, but that's all good. It just takes a little Mod Podge at the end, you know, to fix. And um, the seam, you had to fix that, but it was all good. So I'm just making sure that I got all those little bits out. And once I realized it was all good, just added some Mod Podge to the bottom. I'm just gonna continue that blue background to the bottom and to the bottom rim. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> Carefully take my, uh, I think this was an angled, straight angled br brush, um, just around the rim of the, where the adhesive met the bottom and just going carefully along there and then just pour it over and then knock it off, brush off any loose glitter. And then once all of that was done, I do, I believe, show you where I go and I fix, here I am, fixing any of those spots on the seam or anywhere where that darker glitter got into the lighter and I'm fixing those. So yeah, this is where I fix all those. Enjoy. So once I got all that done, I went ahead and gave it three coats of clear must Rust-Oleum two times spray. Then I pop it on my turner for three coats of epoxy. Then this is done. I love how this turned out. For my first burst tumbler, I'm extremely pleased. If you are interested in purchasing a tumbler, don't forget to visit my website. And if you like this video, give it a great big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.